to a foot of snow. Now, Star, our, I called our forecast a little blah. Uh -huh. But when you look at that, you got to say, well, I'm just grateful. We like blah. Works. We yeah, like we quiet. Like blah. Yeah. We're going to keep that going for a couple more days, Nick, and we're going to look a lot like Christmas, but in a different way. Hey, the sun doesn't rise for another hour and a half, so let's keep soaking in these Christmas lights. Just beautiful, lit up right now in Carmel. And then I want to take you over to Noblesville. Look at this impressive display. Got this on my Facebook page. Teresa Anderson Rusk sent this in. She said they build up their display every year and it sure looks fantastic. Live look over the city right now where our regular lights are also looking quite lovely to start off our day. Nice and quiet, not dealing with foggy conditions so we can actually see from our cameras to start off this morning. 34 degrees though, so it is cold enough that you will want a coat as you're heading out the door. 25 that dew point, so a fairly dry air mass in place. 33 degrees this morning in Shelbyville, 32 for Connors. 31 in Columbus and in Crawfordsville, 32 for Greencastle and 31 in Kokomo. We will continue to climb through the 30s. I think that we will actually make it into the low 40s this afternoon, but just a little bit of a breeze will be enough to give us a small wind chill factor. Only moving about three miles an hour right now downtown, the wind at five in Peru. As that picks up a little bit through the day, it will give us that wind chill factor by a couple of degrees. Right now though, not terrible. Just feels like the 30s for most of us. Feels like 25 right now in Kokomo. Live Guardian radar is nice and quiet. It's gonna stay that way today and tomorrow, so not expecting any active weather quite yet. And really a wide view shows that it's very quiet across the entire Midwest and the upper plains. All we're really seeing popping up is a little bit of a lake effect mix there in parts of Michigan. Now, as we're back home, we will filter through some clouds today, so we're just going to call it partly sunny. Here's around two o'clock this afternoon, still watching those clouds push through. And then as we head toward the evening, that round will be exiting. But then we're watching that wave pushing in from the northwest. So tonight will continue to be mostly cloudy. This time tomorrow morning, we will still have some thin clouds, but then those are out of here by lunchtime. So Wednesday afternoon, nice and sunny, and that is also going to help our temperatures. Today, though, wind chill is pretty much going to top off in the 30s, mostly cloudy to partly sunny, and a high hitting about 42, which is normal for this time of the year. Then tonight, mostly cloudy, cold again, just going to spend an hour or two below freezing. And then tomorrow, absolutely beautiful. High of 50 degrees. I'm not going to call it warm, but it's definitely milder than we should be this time of the year with those normal highs in the low 40s. And then Thursday looks even better. 53 with lots of sunshine. Take advantage of it. Get outside for the next couple of days because then we start getting more active. Friday, we do have a small chance for rain, but temperature still mild. More likely we get rain on Saturday and then colder next week. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. All right. Thank you, Star.